Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video today, guys. Um, we're saying goodbye to the M3, the bumper and everything. The tail lights finally all came in. So the car has to get out of the body shop. They're gonna have to realign this quarter panel. They're gonna have to bring it up, pull it, do all their stuff, align the new bumper. Um, I will have to take off the bumper down the road so you guys will actually see what happened underneath um, all the things that were repaired, so that's what's up. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna have to take down this car to the shop. I have school this week anyway, so um, it's actually the perfect timing to take it down. So they're gonna be fixing the rear quarter. They're gonna be fixing the front pillar, bring it up so they can put the radiator support. I want everything to be done properly. I pulled out my brother's pillar using my car and it worked for the most part. Everything lined up, but the but the, the fenders didn't line up like 100%. So I want this car to be mint. I want this car to be like a show car slash like race car. So. I want it to be really nice, so that's why I'm taking it out of the shop today. The truck's about an, about like 20 minutes away, so I'm gonna try and remove this hood right now. So that's my goal. I'm gonna try to remove this hood before it gets here. Um, I'm hoping we can do that, and I'm also gonna throw in the bumper and the radio support inside the trunk because he's gonna need those. All right, guys. So we just got the bumper um, inside. We got the radio support inside. That's all he needs. Just go ahead and remove this uh, stupid hood. All right, so actually it looks like he's already here. So we're actually gonna say no to the hood. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pig. <laughs> I forgot to give him the tail light. I forgot to give him the bracks. I'm over here like running over to the truck to give him the stuff before he heads out. Boy, I am tired. Okay, we made it. We do have a small little oil leak. I think it's because I didn't replace the, the screw gasket when I did the oil change. That's whatever, I'm doing rod bearing soon. Um, I didn't get that the test back yet, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, I'm gonna get my engine mounts replaced. My rod bearing's done with lifetime bearings. I'm gonna pretty much just do this car right. And for those of you guys asking about rims, I'm selling my rears and I'm gonna go buy a new set. Uh, it's just not worth buying the rim for like 300 bucks and buying a matching tire for another 300 bucks, which is $600. And then I have to get a tire for the other side, which is another 300 bucks to 900 bucks. I can just put 1200 bucks, get a fresh new you know, set of tires and rims and sell my other two. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now that the garage is all sweeped up, my dad can finally bring his car in here for a little bit. Uh, I've been kind of leaving him outside the past couple weeks. Yeah, so shout out to my dad for being super chill. At least you can let him have one spot of his garage back while we clean all this stuff up. And then uh, just waiting on the car. In the meantime, we're gonna look at some, uh, some things for the car. Still looking at some wheels. If you guys can recommend me any wheels. I'm trying to go with a set of wheels that already have tires on them, but I don't care, a good set, preferably online. Um, so I can just get them shipped to my house. I don't really wanna go drive out super far to go pick up a set of rims because then I have to take a car that can handle um, carrying all those rims and tires and it's just gonna cost a lot of money. So if you guys know, if you guys see a set online, some nice wheels and tires, let me know so I can check them out because I need a new set. Budget, let's keep it under 15. All right, keep it under 15 and uh, I think that's pretty fair for a nice set of wheels and tires. All right guys, so I think right now we should talk about, um, you know, what, what are my plans for the M3? Because uh, I know a lot of you guys have always judged me on my last couple of builds and like didn't like what I did with the car. And uh, you know, I guess, I, I guess it's fair in a sense. Uh, it is my car, and some of you guys are telling me to stop uh, choosing or making choices according to what you guys say. But the thing is, I won't. I wouldn't be able to have this M3 if it wasn't for you guys. So I, at the same time, I kind of want you guys' input on it. I want you guys' taste in it. Uh, I want you guys' you know, uh, pretty much your opinions because I, I care. I don't really know much, you know. Not like everybody in my neighborhood has BMWs. This the, the whole the whole BMW scene is not as big as the whole JDM scene. Um, you know, of course we got Beamer Fest and all that stuff, but like the majority of people just still don't drive BMWs. So yeah, pretty much I don't really have my M3 right now. Um, it's at the shop. It's getting some work done. It's getting the quarter panel fixed. It's getting the front pillar fixed. It's getting the battery compartment punched out, and maybe getting the door aligned. It's getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, so in the meantime, I just want to kind of go over what I plan on doing with the car. And to be quite honest with you guys, I'm going a little bit crazy. So I don't know a lot of you, I don't know if, if a lot of you guys have known, the M3 has been a dream car of mine. I know it's a dream car for a lot of people. This is like my dream car, my dream spec. 
Um, and it's just, it's gonna be, it, it is worth every penny. And the reason I'm saying this now is because I did surpass my budget a long time ago. Let's just say every part that I purchased, there was nothing under like $400 a part, 500 bucks a part. Screws came in at like 50, 60 a pop. Um, I'm not talking about screws like as in to like screw the, 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 you know, the weather guards and all that stuff. I'm talking about just screws like I need for the radiator, screws I need for like, uh, you know, the hood, those like the major screws. Those are was super costly, just being a pain in my booty. And just random miscellaneous parts, like little plastic pieces are running me at 80 bucks a piece. It's not cheap. One of you guys commented, I'm gonna try to see if I can post a comment somewhere over here. You guys are, at, you asked me, you know, he's probably not gonna be realistic with the price that he actually ended up spending on the car. He doesn't wanna look like, you know, he didn't, he spent too much. He went over his head. To be honest with you guys, the reason why I do this on YouTube is to see if it's possible. And I'm willing to take that first hit and be like, yo, okay, was, is it worth it or is it not worth it? And I'm gonna be real with you guys. What I'm doing, I ain't making profit. I'm honestly probably gonna hit what it's worth, literally. Um, but the thing is, I got to adventure with it, I got to create content, I learned my car more than any YouTube video could have explained because I got to do it myself. And I tried to show you guys as much as I, you know, every, everything I did, but even if you buy your own, there's still gonna be a few things that you're gonna be like, I don't remember seeing that, I don't remember doing that, I don't know how to do this, because it's all through experience. And that's something you just simply cannot, you know, buy. I can go buy an M3. But I won't know how to replace a pulley. I won't know how to replace a belt. I don't know how to remove an inner core. I don't know how to replace the fan. You know, just stuff like that. You won't know because you just bought it. Like clean title or whatever. Maybe even salvage title, but it's already pre-built. And that's the thing about buying a car that's, uh, you know, that, that's rebuildable and just saving it. Because that's like, that's like something I just love so much. Is that I get to buy a car that initially I couldn't afford. And I'm building it. And as I'm gaining money and as I'm progressing on the channel... Um, being able to afford it a little by little, I'm still in debt a little bit now uh, because I'm gonna go. A little, I went a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna let you guys know what I did. But I'm able to get the car of my dreams, and I'm really, really happy about that. And I encourage a lot of you guys to get your own builds rather than just going to do a finance and being screwed over. Um, even if you don't want to do something as crazy as my M3, because my M3 was way beyond like it was pretty messed up. But it was the dream spec. It was my local, and I wanted to do it so badly. I had like. I had an initiative that I needed to get it. Now I was thinking about doing a Q&A video and answering a lot of your questions, but I'm basically just thinking of things of like just thinking of things I want to do to the M3 and what you guys probably want to see be done to the M3. So currently I have everything I need other than one fender. That's I mean of course I'm probably missing some miscellaneous things that I don't want to deal with right now, but probably you could deal with it later. The major thing that kind of set me back is wheels. So as of now, I I I I budgeted something, I budgeted the money for wheels, considering how I'm gonna pay it back, because I can't afford it just yet, but I need wheels. To buy the wheels that I need for the front and buying matching tires to match the rears, it's gonna cost me over fourteen dollars to $1,500, and I figured, if I'm spending that much, I might as well go aftermarket and sell the rears, and keep the tires, and use it for like future burnouts, future drifting, all that stuff down the road on the channel. So I was like, you know what, um, let's just go ahead and start something. You guys can let me know which kind of wheels you want to see on the M3. I'm looking at some VMRs, I'm looking at some Forgesters. I love the Forgesters, uh, I think they're called the F14s. They are beautiful. A lot of people have them, but that's my problem. I don't want to buy a set of wheels that every single person has in their M3. The deep concave is like my dream. I love it. I love how it looks. It's insane, but every single M3 has it, and I don't want to copy anyone. I want to kind of have my own set of wheels. I've never had a nice set of wheels, so I want to get my own set of wheels, and uh, I finally want to start my own wheel setup. I've never done any of my other cars, so I really want to do it right on this car. So I want you, I want you guys' opinions. Go to VMR, go to like a few other websites, and uh, send me a link, 1500 bucks, preferably used with tires. Um, I don't want to go ahead and purchase new ones. If you guys can find a good deal, let me know. But if they are new and they are a good deal, uh, let me know. I'm looking at something with at least slight concave, not looking for something crazy, but just slight concave and a staggered setup. So you guys let me know if you can find any of that. So yeah, let me know about the wheels, guys. But also, so I'm also considering on uh, what am I gonna do with the actual paint job or the wrap of the car. For YouTube's sake, I'm pretty sure if I go ahead and just paint match the rest of the car, I have everything black. Even the rear bumper I picked up is black. So the whole car is pretty much gonna be black other than one fender. And uh, well, maybe two fenders. But I can go ahead and get those paint matched and make the whole car black, you know, 
It's not gonna be in the best shape condition and paint job, but I mean everything should be black. And uh, that's what they're kind of happy about. But I don't want to go ahead and paint it now because I don't want to, because you have to let the paint cure I heard for about six months before you can wrap. So I don't want to paint now and not be able to wrap till like after summer and I start school again after summer. It's just like, I don't want to go through that. So what I'm thinking as of now, and also because paint is expensive, my dream color to have my empty painted is in Ender Lego blue and whatever the heck you call that. This beautiful dark blue, it's like my dream, especially in the M3, so I want to get my car repainted to match that color, and since my car is black, I don't have to get the interior, like the, the, the inside the engine bay all painted because it's black, it just looks natural, so that's awesome, so that's something I really am considering, but I did get quotes upwards of three grand, and that's a lot of money right now, especially because your boy is doing the rod bearings. I'm over here in my room, like what am I doing? But yeah, rod bearings, I checked up, I found a shop locally, uh, they said 2400, and that is quite a bit, but it is locally, and they are including engine mounts, uh, and you know, it's a shop that you know is pretty reputable. I'll be able to get like receipts for it and stuff like that. I'll be able to go on the car facts of the car. And it's just gonna make the car look good. It's gonna make sure it's gonna show that you know the engine mounts were done, the oil was done out of shop, the filters have been changed, the the oil pan gas has been changed. It's gonna say like you know the rod bearings have been done. It's just gonna look like the car has been well taken care of. And that's just something for me personally I like to see. Uh, rod bearings, it's not something you want to just tackle in the garage if you have no experience. If you torque something not according to spec, you can just throw a rod and blow your engine. So, for me personally, I'm not that great at uh, fixing internal engine things. I mean, I could do like a spark plugs, ignition coils, maybe a gasket here and there, but I'm not going to go ahead and do rod bearings. I'm sorry. If you guys want to see the channel, I'm sorry for that, but I'm not going to be doing it myself. Pretty much, if I get wheels and I do the rod bearings, I'm getting a little bit of a budget. So, this is what I'm trying to bite at right now because I know you guys do not want to hear this, but I am getting the car wrapped. The car is gonna be wrapped temporarily till the end of summer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and peel the whole wrap and paint it Ender Lego, whatever. I need to get the name seriously figured out. Let me go up and pull up my uh, phone real quick. Interlog Interlagos? In Interlago? I'm probably an idiot. Um, I am an idiot. It's this color right here. I don't know if you guys can go ahead and focus on that for y'all. Yeah, so that looks super sick. I just love the color. I have so many things planned. I will even want to bag the car. So many crazy things with my, but obviously budget guys. We're all living on a budget. I go to college, as you guys can see, I go to Sac State. So shout out to everyone. <laughs> if you guys are local and you guys know I go to Sac State, make sure you guys say what's up. So I, I just can't paint right now, but I do plan on painting. So the tensions are there, um, but as of now, I, the pretty much the, most, the rest of the panels look pretty good. They're all gonna be pretty much matching other than the fenders, and I'm just gonna wrap it. So that's the last thing we're gonna be getting at here, is what wrap. I've been thinking of a few. I've been thinking about either going yellow, throw up a couple pictures right here, probably like, probably like hold the camera right here. So I was either thinking about like yellow. Um, yellow looks pretty sick on the E90s especially. Not too much on the E92s, but on the E90s look really good. I was also thinking about this purple. I'll throw up a picture right here. It's a really nice purple. It's called like, uh, should let me go ahead and just pull it. It's called uh, Explo Pl Gloss Plum Explosion. Looks really good. I'll throw up a picture right here how it looks. It looks really good in my opinion, but the thing is the kind of purple reminds me of the 330i and I want a little bit of change here. But still looks really good. So it is, it is something I'm considering. So that just brings us down to our last one, which is Atomic Teal. There's a picture right there. I love how it looks as well. So Atomic Teal, uh, that that purple one, and the yellow are three of my major choices. I want to wrap my car either one of these three. You guys let me know. I am going to take my time on this. I'm going to be taking off indiv individual panels and wrapping them, making it look as best as possible. And of course, I'll show you guys the full process. But yeah, there's going to be a poll somewhere up there. Guys, go ahead and click on it. Let me know what color you guys want. Comment it down in the, uh, the, the comment section. But yeah, as I'm waiting for the M3, I'm just over here sitting, just doing some more schoolwork because that's life and, you know, I'm, I have to get through it. But yeah, as soon as we pick up the M3, guys, it should be all ready to go to be buttoned up and it's going to look super sick. Cannot wait to get all that stuff done. Cannot wait to get the rod bearings done. Cannot wait to throw on some wheels. So yeah, let me know about the wheels. Let me know about the wrap down below. We're going all out. We're not. We're not going. To, we're, not, we're not even doing springs. We're either going to do coilovers or bags. So we're going to go all out on this car because it's my dream car, worth every single penny. But I could use you guys' support. So without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Make sure to smash the like button. That like button is going to help me so much. I just want you guys to share this video, help a brother out here. 
so I could be able to do all this as soon as possible for you guys. I do not like holding you guys. I do not like wasting you guys' time. So all I ask is to make sure to smash the like button, share this video if possible, and uh, yeah. And if you guys want to support the channel and you guys like the whole, the whole, pretty much the cause for it, it's the hashtag Save a BMW. If you guys want to support the channel, there's a link down in the description. Hashtag Save a BMW. And as soon as I get the car back, I'll be shouting out everybody who's purchased either a blue push button or the decals. If you buy a blue push button, it's currently coming with decals as well because it's all about ha it's all about saving the BMWs out here. We typically see them on tow trucks, but we want to get them on the road. So if you guys want to support the channel, check out that link. So without further ado, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.